So I had a few people reach out asking about how to increase their mobility in the bench press arch position. I couldn't find a video that had the content that I really wanted to be able to share, so I made one. Um, it's definitely cheesy, but bear with me. Hopefully these mobility exercises will help you in your arching. So your low back, your lumbar spine is actually built to be very mobile. So you'll have a lot of flexion and extension naturally. What we need to work on in your arch is building that thoracic extension, your mid, mid to upper back. So I like to have people use either half of a foam roller like you see here, or you can use a uh, deflated football is really awesome um, if you happen to have one of those laying around. But just stick it underneath yourself um, wherever it's comfortable and just sort of let yourself rest over it. Um, gradually, you wanna work it up a little bit higher on your back. So you can kind of get yourself up on the bench, up on your shoulders and up on your traps as much as you can and move that foam roller to a position where it kind of pushes you into that arch position. Once you find that position where it feels like you have a good stretch in your thoracic spine, you can let yourself just rest over the foam roller. You can stay here for 30 seconds or you know a minute even if you want, um, just long enough that you really feel like you can let yourself relax over it. If you don't feel like you're getting a good stretch, you can reposition get the roller up a little bit higher, get up a little bit higher in that arch position, and then just let yourself rest right there. So what I was using for this demonstration is just half of a regular foam roller like the ones from Amazon Basics. Um, you can also use a squat bar pad, um, the neck pads. Find a nice use for them since you're not going to be using them on your squat bar. But um, those are a little bit softer, a little bit squishier, so you can kind of just work your way up to the foam roller. Um, these are a little bit softer and easier to um, push down on. So eventually we want to move into actually doing this over the full foam roller um, to really get in a high arch position. You want to try to keep your shoulders and your butt touching the bench as much as possible. And here you can actually do some of those IYT stretches and exercises uh, to really get some mobility in your shoulders. If you're not comfortable doing it on the bench quite yet, you can do it right on the floor. Just bring your foam roller down onto the floor and lay over it. Let yourself rest over it for a few seconds and kind of get comfortable in that position. But you wanna gradually work it up so that you're really getting that stretch in the thoracic. Again, your lumbar, your low back is already naturally mobile. So what we really need to do is work on that thoracic extension, which is more difficult of a position for most people to get in, especially if you work at a desk all day, you're hunched over. So this is really a good stretch and mobility exercise for anybody. Another way that you can do it is to turn the foam roller the long way and set it right along your spine. So you're really letting yourself just fall open. This is also a really good stretch for your chest if you're sore after benching. Um, you can let your hips drop so that you have that lumbar extension as well. Once you've been working with the foam roller for a little while, you can begin to do some bridging without it. So you wanna be able to just get yourself up in that extended position up on your shoulders. If you can do an elbow bridge like this, that's really great. If you can go all the way up into a full bridge, that's definitely gonna get your back in the most extended position that you possibly can. Some people naturally are more mobile to be able to do this, but um, this is something that you can start, sort of work up to. Yeah. <laughs> 
One of the other things that's important to do to increase your mobility in the bench press arch position is to get those lats loosened up. So in this exercise, you can hold on to anything. I'm holding a PVC pipe in my hands um, and just get yourself in this position on the bench so that you can really get a good stretch in your lats. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that this was helpful. If you have other questions or you need more information, feel free to send me a message. Um, if I don't have the information, I will point you in the right direction of somebody that does. So have an awesome day and a great week.